I, I think it's a big part of the state's identity is the, the, the shore. I think part of you know having a three-day uh, you know, workshop it was to teach coastal communities things they can do to adapt and prepare to address um, you know, skepticism among you know, uh, critics of climate change. One of the things that I grasped I think that was most important was the, not thinking about water rising, but losing the shoreline. I, I assumed that we were losing the shoreline, not that the water was the contributing cause to why we're losing our shorelines. The coastal communities, as, as they stand right now, have a lot of challenges that they face from extreme weather to pollution, and that these current problems that they face are only going to continue to grow and in many cases get worse as climate change be, you know, begins. Well, we could have a northeaster. Uh, we're, we're in hurricane season. I mean, hurricanes are, uh, they could be disastrous here. Where that pier comes out, that's the Avon Pier, docks, uh, there was beach sand to the end of that, and a little further out. This looks uh, considerably different than it did a while ago. Oh yeah, most definitely. How do we address, you know, uh, beach erosion and, 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 you know, storm events and, you know, kind of hazard mitigation, uh, especially, you know, when we start talking about climate change. I think in the end, you know, relating to people on, on things that they can understand. Yeah, I think that's a, it's a great approach for, for moving forward and, and planning and preparing. If you bring it down to the public's level with not all the scientific and all the... Keep it simple. Uh, you know what? It's going to affect you and your children and your grandchildren. This is a beachfront community. And if you want the beach, you got to protect it.